Hey, it's Minius, and I wanted to add to my video response series, which is a little bit like a Q&A, except with far less structure. First of all, I want to talk about Bioware as a whole. Most of you probably know that on Friday, Bioware announced they were closing their long-running forums, and watching the fan reaction to that has been, well, it's been interesting. Before I get too far into this topic, it needs to be said that there are no positives here. I'm not much of a forum person myself, but any time a place where people like to hang out and chat gets shut down, it sucks. But don't get carried away on the impact this has or what it might mean. If Bioware is simply trying to stay in contact with their community, then there are far more effective ways to do that in today's world. Forums are neat, but ultimately they're a little outdated. So what does shutting down the Bioware forums mean? Well. It simply means that spending the time and resources to maintain forums isn't worth it to them anymore. Now that's unfortunate, but it also makes sense. Cold rationale though is boring. It's way more fun to freak out about stuff, which a number of people have done. And really the biggest problem is that it's been a while since we've had good news from the studio. Really the last time positivity flowed from Bioware was at last year's E3 when Mass Effect Andromeda was officially revealed. That was 14 months ago. June's EA Play didn't actually have that much stuff. Instead, we've been treated to news on Bioware departures and general negativity. So I guess it's not that surprising that people are freaking out about the quality of Mass Effect Andromeda and the health of Bioware in general. Some people even seem to think that the studio is at risk of closing. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. Calm down. If Bioware was about to be shut down, then EA wouldn't have given them a prime spot in the recent EA Play news conference. There'd be just too much egg on their face. If Bioware was about to be shut down, then they wouldn't have created a Mass Effect theme park ride. A theme park ride, of all things. If Bioware was about to be shut down, then they wouldn't have three full studios working on stuff, including a completely new IP, which developers continue to chat about excitedly. Yeah, it'd be fun to be getting lots of insight into what they're working on, Andromeda in particular, but it makes sense that they're not showing anything off at this time. Revealing a bunch of Andromeda six months before it comes out probably isn't even helpful. Keep in mind that it's actually counterproductive for Electronic Arts to start marketing Mass Effect Andromeda now. They've got other major products like Battlefield 1 and Titanfall 2 scheduled to come out very soon. Why split the attention? Now if November rolls around and we don't get some Andromeda related stuff, then you've got legitimate grounds to start freaking out. If Mass Effect Andromeda comes out and then underperforms, then you can worry about the health of Bioware as a studio. Anything before that is incredibly premature and kind of an overreaction. Bioware is one of the few interesting things that Electronic Arts has going for them, and they know this. The Bioware formula for games is simply too good, and there isn't anyone else out there who's been able to do it as well as them. No, Mass Effect Andromeda is not being cancelled. No, Bioware is not about to close. There are a couple of questions that I get asked a lot, and I figured it'd be a good idea to answer them in video form. For instance, people want to know, what kind of videos am I going to do once Andromeda comes out? And this is going to depend a lot on, well, what kind of videos do you want me to make? You can answer this question now, it's still a little bit early. I know people have been asking for a full playthrough. I'll definitely be doing an Andromeda lore series, as well as tips and tricks videos, and probably some topical discussion videos. Once we get a firm Andromeda release date, and that release date is about two or so months out, I'll open up an active discussion on what you'd like to see and start seeing what ideas fit this channel best. Now, what about doing videos on other video game series like Dragon Age? Well, I'm open to the idea, but I don't have any plans to do this anytime soon. There's a chance that I'll start covering Bioware's new IP when they release information on that, but they're unlikely to do that until well after Andromeda comes out. Like I said in the first topic, there's no reason to split the attention. For now, I've got tons of Mass Effect to do. We aren't even getting information on Andromeda yet, and I've still got lots to do. Once the game releases, I'll have even more to do. So Minius GC is going to remain a Mass Effect channel. In fact, I probably won't even think about doing other games for another year or so. 
Anyway, I really like doing these little response videos. This channel is growing fast, which is awesome, but is also making it difficult to keep up with all you. And chatting with you is easily one of the best things about running this channel. I don't want to lose that. So aside from these videos, I'm going to try to think of more ways to keep the doors open. The next video is going to be an example of that. It's on the class system in Mass Effect Andromeda, and I got lots of great input from you guys. Also, in early October, I'm going to be doing a much larger contest slash giveaway. If you've got ideas or requests for that, make sure to let me know in the comments section. There's also something else coming soon that might be increasing the communication levels, but that's a secret, so, you know, don't tell anybody. Joker? I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know. As always, if you've got topic or video ideas or questions, hit me up in the comments section or on Twitter. And if you like this video, please give it a like. It really helps out the channel. Keep an eye on Mini SGC for more Mass Effect videos. But for now, I should go.